Sifu is not at all the game I expected it to be when it was initially revealed back in 2021. When coming into Sifu, I was expecting an arcade beat em up style of gameplay that anyone who likes action kung fu movies can enjoy. But what you'll quickly find out in playing Sifu is that the game is definitely not for everyone. What? Where's my health? <coughs> but damn, does it feel like this game was made for me. The reason I say Sifu isn't for everyone is because of the difficulty. When jumping into Sifu, the game feels very difficult and it is up to the player to learn and understand the movesets and gimmicks of the enemies and bosses throughout the game. That learning process, especially when it comes to the bosses, is going to come with a lot of deaths. But in Sifu, when you die, you get right back up where you were, but older. How much older you get depends on how many deaths you've racked up, so on your first death you'll only age 1 year going from 20 to 21, you start the game at 20. On your next death you'll age 2 years because that's your second death, going from 21 to 23 and so on and so forth. As you can probably imagine, with the more deaths you rack up, your character can start aging extremely quickly. And if you reach age 70 and die, then you'll get game over and will be forced to restart at the beginning of the level. Oh shit. No! No! Oh god. Now you may be thinking, I have from age 20 to 70 to get through each level, it doesn't seem so bad. And that's where you'd be wrong. <laughs> because your age does not reset as you progress through the levels. So if you finish the first level at age 30 with a death counter of 4, that is the same age encounter you will have to begin the second level with. So you age from age 20 to 70, not just to beat one level, but to beat the entirety of the game. I thought he was down for the count. Uh, oh, there's no way that he just, okay, you know what? I don't, I can't get upset this early. What this leads to is what I believe may deter a lot of people from this game. The demand of perfection. Perfection is what Sifu asks of his player, unlike games like Dark Souls and more topically Elden Ring. In Dark Souls or Elden Ring, when you beat a boss, that is it. Doesn't matter how you beat it, if you mastered it and just obliterated it, or if you just barely got by and beat it with one health, you did it. Pat yourself on the back and move on. But in Sifu, beating a boss and the level in general that they're attached to is just the beginning. Now you have to perfect it. Because remember, that death counter doesn't reset. So unless you want to start a level as a 60 year old man that could die in just a few hits, you will need to go back and repeat the previous level, repeat the boss over and over again until you come out of it at an age and death counter that you're comfortable with. Or if you're an idiot like me, you can force yourself to perfect the game with zero deaths. Uh, we can see here if I go through all the levels, age 20 in the top left, I ran through the whole game without dying. There's a reason that I've put over 20 hours into this five level game. <laughs> Now we've been talking a lot about the death system and difficulty in this game, but how do you die or not die? What is the actual gameplay of Sifu? Well, it's actually fairly simple. You have two attack buttons in light and heavy, which can be pressed in varying ways to do different sets of combos. You have focus attacks, which use your built up meter to do bigger hits. Uh, you have a parry, a dodge, a sidestep, and that's essentially it. There are a variety of unlockable moves that range from focus attacks new combos or weapon specific moves. These unlockable moves however can be lost on a game over, but unlock the same move 5 times in the same run and you'll have it permanently. As mentioned earlier, there are only 5 levels in this game where you'll fight your way through a number of rooms filled with enemies or mini bosses until you reach the end of the level where you ultimately must defeat the final boss of that level before proceeding to the next. I'm sure people will hear that and be surprised that there are only 5 levels and 5 bosses in Sifu. But that's because that death and age system is really this game's bread and butter. Like I said, the system will force you to have to replay levels in an attempt to run through them with less deaths than the previous run. And that can be quite the timely grind to really figure out a level and its boss. Well, on the topic of levels, I'd like to quickly talk about the level design itself. This game's art style and level design is just awesome. Every level is super unique with its own environment that represents the end boss of the level and the game just overall looks really good. The levels are also fun to actually navigate and play through. There are collectibles, some of which just add more to the lore to the story, but others may be some things like key cards or just keys in general that will open up a shortcut in the level 
making it easier to run back through the same level on future attempts. To wrap things up, Sifu is an amazing game and a truly unique experience. From the expertly crafted combat that is both accessible while still holding the depth for those skilled enough to dive into it, an amazing art and level design, truly unique death and aging system, adding a fresh take to the roguelike genre, uh, Sifu all around is unlike anything I've played and I've loved every second of it. If you're up for the challenge, I highly recommend Sifu and believe you'll love it too.